Joining me now live from Seattle is Brian Seeley, a cybersecurity expert and ethical hacker who has previously wiretapped the US Secret Service. Thanks very much for speaking with us, Brian. What's so unique about this hack and what were they trying to get to here? Well, it's very hard to determine someone's intentions, but the fact that they didn't go after money, they didn't go after sabotage, uh, shows that they have a lot longer of a game sort of planned. And the fact that it tapped into 250 different federal agencies um, is staggering. When you've got people like Bruce Schneier weighing in, it's this is unlike anything we've ever seen. As somebody who has hacked into the U.S. Secret Service, although you did it just to show them that it was possible to highlight a security flaw, what could be some of the possible reasons here? We're hearing that it was a software update, but is there any other things beside that that could be leading uh, to the possibilities that hackers can get in? Oh, uh, there was definitely a couple different components to this. So you had SolarWinds who had uh, bad security policy and procedures and implementation. So they did things badly. They made mistakes. The hackers who uh, this couldn't be duplicated by a couple of kids in their basement. It's definitely a state level, hundreds of people coordinated attack. And they're trying to gather intelligence and get information, whether it could be intellectual property or it could be um, biometric or information on our citizens. Um, the implications are only limited by your imagination at that point. And they might not have a specific target because that they could be stuck with an overwhelming amount of information. They're just being patient, which is really, so, really scary. You're mentioning Solar Winds there. That, I imagine, is the company that was subcontracted to do this work. Considering the fact that we've seen outsourcing in the US government for all of the sorts of data activities, is there a risk that this could happen again? Oh, absolutely. I, I, would, I would bet everything that I own and at least one of my kids, that this has already happened and no one's discovered it. It's uh, the OPM breach several years ago was the same thing. Someone running a piece of software as a demo discovered this breach that had already taken place for like 18 months. So to say, okay, we've got it all, you haven't gotten it all. We haven't found it all. These guys have found other things that we haven't discovered yet and we'll keep uncovering them. But we don't even know where to look. It's not even like a needle in a haystack. It's like uh, a million times more complex and difficult. And the threats keep on continuing, not just from Russia. We've also heard the likes previously of North Korea trying to infiltrate U.S. systems. Yeah, from what I understand, there are other countries that don't like the United States uh, and are after things that we have. So um, China, for one, uh, Russia uh, on the other Eastern Bloc, then you've got North Korea, who was mad about the Sony and the whole movie thing. And I mean, I thought it was a funny movie, but the idea is there's threats all the time, uh, whether you call them advanced persistent threats. Um, if you're on the Internet at all, whether it's a phone, whether it's your uh, Comcast or your home Internet, everyone on the Internet can see you. Period. So. It's, a whole, it's not like you're stopping at every house on the block and checking to see if the door is unlocked. It's you can check every house every second of every day in the entire country with a simple script. You don't have to actually have one person trying to hack into every single home. A good reminder for everybody to keep up to date with their passwords and keep their internet security options good. Brian Seeley joining us there from the US. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.